Spring is in the air, but so is dust, dander, Ooh. and pollen. Ugh. Ugh. But you know what? There are a few things you can do to avoid the common allergies. Here to help is eco-friendly designer and ambassador for the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, Robin Wilson. Welcome. Robin. Hello. Okay. How are we all? We're good. It's, no sneezing and wheezing yet. Well, not no. yet, but I mean, it's not... It's spring. It right. feels like winter, but allergy season is in full swing. That's and I right. can feel a little bit of something in my mm -hmm. throat coming along, and I know it's not a cold. Right. How bad is it this year? This is going to be the worst year they've ever had. No! <laughs> like, please, no! No, 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 no. Well, right. You know what? It's great you're banging on the pillow. Yeah, that's that's what's coming, <laughs> coming out now. Well, you know, one of the first places you can start is your pillow because okay. so many people have down pillows and they don't realize that's mm -hmm. causing them to wheeze and sneeze due to the dander okay. from the feathers. Mm -hmm. So we recommend the rule of three for your pillows. Wash it every three months and replace it every three years. And also okay. use a zippered pillow cover that you can oh. wash weekly or monthly. Smart. Okay. A lot of people have an average of six years since mm -hmm. the last time they replaced their pillow. Okay. Wow. So that's like dirty pajamas. Yeah. Okay. We talk about things we could do, and a lot of people think spring cleaning is all about just dusting, but you don't want to replace the dust with bad chemicals, right? That's right, that's right. So, you know, there are certain sprays that you hear on the news mm -hmm. or see on commercials, and it says, use this, mm -hmm. but you're actually putting scents on top of the dirt. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you might want to consider like that some... guy you smell in the club and he <laughs> bathes, cologne. but then he puts, <laughs> he puts some cologne, cologne on. That's right. That's like right. You can't yeah. spray that away. Exactly. It smells worse sometimes. So yes. look for Wash. the label. Look for the label hypoallergenic okay. on your sprays. And this is a great one. It's mm -hmm. dust free. It's chemical free. And yet it does add some cleaning elements to your home. I think a lot of people want the, uh, what do you say, the pine smell when they open their door, mm, right, but they right. don't realize that's actually quite toxic. Really? Ooh, the yeah. pine okay. smell. Exactly. Well, is, is this candle not toxic? This is a soy candle. Mm -hmm. It is oh, non-toxic, yeah, and you know, they actually use essential oils mm -hmm. when they put this, instead of perfumes, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have a lot of smoke, and whatever smoke it does emit, it's not toxic smoke. Oh, so, so it's that's essential why, oils. That's you why still get the nice scents from that's that. That's right, and it okay. lasts about 14 hours. Oh. 14 hours? Yeah. Wow. So oh, like great. That. Yeah. Okay, mm, so what are some of the other things good. we can do with getting our house ready to be dust free? Well, you know, we talked about so many people wheezing and sneezing. Yes. When you have an air filter that actually has not been changed in a year or two, then you're actually oh. putting dust back into your environment. Yeah. So I recommend changing your air filter, again, using the rule of three, every three months. Okay. Really? And if you can get a replaceable air filter, sometimes you can wash them. Huh. And so, but this is a great one. It's put out by a great brand. It's actually certified by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. Okay. okay. Now, why so is this? So three months sounds like the key. Three, three months. Three, three months. Three, three months. Okay. Every okay. season. Just look at every season. Try to replace some things mm -hmm. in your home. You may not be able to do a full cleaning, but if you can do a minimal cleaning, it will really help your wheezing and oh. sneezing. I like now, that. Does he have to be put in this bag every three months? <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I'm a new mommy, and uh -huh. one thing I talk to my Your pediatrician about. Adorable, by oh, the way. Thank oh, you. She's too <laughs> thank cute. You. One thing he said is, if you think about dust mites, they're mm -hmm. on your bed which means oh, they're yeah. on your baby's bed. And so a lot of people have the baby go to sleep with a stuffed animal, right. but they don't know how they can get the dust mites. And if they wash it, sometimes the bear is gonna get disfigured. Yeah, right. And if it's your baby's favorite bear, you're in trouble. Right. So I recommend putting the stuffed animal into the Ziploc bag, mm -hmm. freezing it for 48 hours. What? Really? All in the, the freezer? Uh, right, all the dust mites are microscopic. Uh -huh. What will happen is, right before you take it out, shake it. The dust mites will be at the bottom of the bag. Oh. You take the animal out, and your child now is in a healthy wow. environment. But what if Teddy gets frostbitten? Then right. what do we do? Well, you know, <laughs> get a fresh clean. Right. Exactly. Go to Build a Bear Workshop and oh, get a okay. hypoallergenic bear. These oh, bears really? are actually sewn. They're double that's sewn. So soft. They're soft, and they're made out of hypo hypoallergenic materials. Mm -hmm. So that's an easy way to, again, start fresh, mm -hmm. and then you keep it fresh. Now, is this true we can put these in the, in the like washing machine as well? You can put, actually, the Build-A-Bear Workshop bears in a washing mm -hmm. machine. They're certified also by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, mm -hmm. and that means, again, they're non-toxic to begin with, which is right. really important. Just take out the electronic talker first. <laughs> the talks, we don't want to destroy it. Isn't that great? Right. Isn't that That's great? Nice. Oh now, I what if we want to bed. freshen up our home with some color, some new paint? <laughs> How can you do you that? Like oh, yeah, and the pillow. I'm so You're going to take these home? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Okay, we stay awake longer. We gotta finish oh, the show. Okay. Stay awake. Sorry, all right. sorry, sorry. So how can we freshen up with paint that's not gonna be toxic? Right. Can we talk Low about toxic? to no VOC paint labels are what you're looking for. Wait, what does that mean? L VOC stands for volatile organic compounds, okay. which is the chemicals that actually make the paint stick to the wall. You want to find a low to no VOC paint because one hour after you paint it, there's actually no paint smell. Oh, really? And the greatest thing is, again, think about your baby walking into a room, you're putting mm -hmm. your baby to sleep or you're to sleep, right. and all of a sudden you have the paint smell. Mm -hmm. And so there won't be any paint smell after you use this type of paint. Wow, sounds a lot safer than the ones that are currently on the market. That's right, which okay. can emit fumes for six to eight months. And, really? Uh, yes. Now, can you pick this six up at any? Eight months? Yes, you can pick this up anywhere. You can pick it up at Home Depot. You can okay. actually look for the label low to no VOC. I think low that's Low really to no VOC. Right. Okay, and for research, always check out the aafa.org website. Mm -hmm. Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America has information about people with allergies. Mm -hmm. So let me give you some statistics. One in four people have allergies. One in six have asthma and one in nine have both. So wow. when you don't have a resource to go to, mm -hmm. you often say, oh my gosh, am I sick? Is it the flu? I'm wheezing and sneezing. Go to this website and you'll learn a lot about what your conditions are, okay. places you can eat, places you can stay that have pillow options, for example, that okay. are non-toxic. That's great. I love it. Yeah. It's www.aafa.org. That's correct. Gotcha. Right. That's correct. Now what about general tips for people who may not have bad allergies? What can they do to just make sure that they're you want free things, right? Yes. The free things. <laughs> People love that stuff, the right? The free things. When you walk into your house, take your shoes off. Start at the entryway. Okay. okay. That's an easy one. And then second, think about what you're putting on your environment. Like when you spray your couch, should you be spraying your couch with toxins or going to a non-toxic option? I also recommend when you're, when you're cleaning your surfaces, make sure you're using something that's not adding toxins to your environment mm. so that you're not eating bad things, oh, that's true. Okay. you know? So what so, are the vinegar and water Vinegar and water, that's okay. right. Uh -huh. The old things your grandmother used, the baking soda, the vinegars, things of that nature will actually, a little bit of elbow grease, mm -hmm. but it's going to keep you safe in your home. Right. That's why grandma was brilliant, I love yeah. that. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, thank Robin, for so keeping this allergy thank free. You. Here's yes. your teddy bear. Thank you. Now you can hug the bear. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360. <laughs>